Hello, YouTube family. I'm Patty Jackson. I am your auntie of pop culture, and the weekend is here. It's not cute not knowing, and now we're going to know, but we're going to start mm, with a nice old hug, and I'm going to make sure that my phone is cut off. Are you guys ready for the weekend? I'm ready for the weekend. And when I finish with the stories today, it's something new that I'm gonna that I'm gonna start. Wait. I'm the person that they aim for in the commercials. I'm clearly in the throes of menopause. But there's something that they call a menopause indicator. And I'm just like, what of that? I think I'm gonna try to see exactly like where I am, but uh, I am definitely here. It's not cute not knowing, and now we're going to know. We're going to take some time to remember actress Ellen Holly. She was the first African-American woman to be on a soap opera. Now we're taking you back into the 60s. She played Carla Hall on One Life to Live. She lived a long life. She died at the age of 92. Yesterday, we were talking about Forrest Whitaker's ex-wife and we brought you the news that she passed away she was 51 years old and now we know why for years Keisha Whitaker who passed away at the age of 51 had been battling anorexia which led to her having intestinal issues she had been sick for a while People first started noticing a drastic change in her appearance when she would be on the red carpet with her husband, Forrest Whitaker. And it was like she was a little thinner, you know, than most than people. They divorced in 2018. She had a kid, he had a kid, they had two kids together. So they were together for 20 years. They divorced in 2018, but they remained close. Sending prayers of comfort to Forrest Whitaker, his family, to Keisha's family, but real tragic way, intestinal issues. Keisha Whitaker was only 51 years old. Russell Simmons, he's seen his share of Me Too accusations, and now he's speaking out against them. He was basically canceled and founder of Def Jam Records. He would write these really great <laughs> inspirational books. But he had his shenanigans, but Russell wants everyone to know that he took nine lie detector tests to clear his name. He is also accusing his ex-wife, Kamora Lee, of taking $800 from him. He actually said she stole it from me to help her husband, who is a criminal. Terrence Howard is suing his talent agency, CAA. He said he was underpaid for his work in Empire. When it was a big hit show, he said he never got what he should have received. He said the money must have went to other places because he never got the money that he was due for Empire. More kind of like damaging testimony in a Jonathan Majors um Assault trial, he faces up to one year in jail. Uh, they recently produced the evidence in court that he talked about and, and they said admitted there was a physical altercation via text messages. They're bringing out videos. They're bringing out text messages. They're bringing it all out. He shows up with his Bible, his mama, his aunt, making good. It's just that every day there just seems to be more damaging testimony that's that's coming out about this case and just crazy when she was on she left the court uh the accuser in tears it just doesn't look good for jonathan majors oprah winfrey has everybody in a brouhaha over her weight loss. She's promoting the color purple and she, she does look amazing, but people say, wow, I hope her lose all that weight. Now, her weight has been up and down her entire career and we've been through the weight loss journey. A lot of people are feeling duped. I said yesterday, a lot of stars, because I think my Don Lemon <clears throat> lost 30 pounds <laughs> with that Ozempic. 
This is what they're saying. A lot of people who take these weight loss drugs don't want to talk about how. And we've seen a lot of celebrities with drastic transformations. They don't want to talk about it. To some, it's the easy way out to lose weight. To me, the jury is still not out because what happens? What happens when you stop taking it? Do you suddenly want food again? Because it kind of like takes out that food portion if you look forward to what's happening or what's going on for dinner. You don't have that no more. So that's why you're able to lose the weight. Is that the easy way out? Now, Oprah, remember, she teamed up with Weight Watchers. She even bought into the Weight Watchers company. Because she's been fake, them shares in Weight Watchers stock fell. This is my prediction for the future. You're going to find companies like a Jenny Craig or a Weight Watchers. They're going to get into cahoots with with the injectables to lose weight because I think that's the only way they feel that they can survive. Think about the people who underwent bariatric surgeries. They, a lot of people are going to be like, no, I can get an injectable and, and, and lose weight. So it's a murky road, but because Oprah says it's a little bit of everything. She turns 70 next month. End of January, she is turning 70 years old. But because there's been that vagueness. Now, here's a question I have for you. Do you think people are being nitpicky? Do you think women are more nitpicky than men over a subject like this? We have followed her weight journey for years and years. But do you think of women who they say women knows everything? Do you think they're just being real nitpicky about this issue with Oprah Winfrey? Let's talk about the weekends. I know Eddie Murphy's Candy Cane Lane. I got that on my list. Michael Jackson's Thriller at 40. I got that on my list because I really want to see this documentary. Beyonce, will her renaissance movie be number one again at the box office? Hip-hop is being celebrated. 50 years of hip-hop. Well, the Grammys are saluting hip-hop. And that lineup is something else. I know I'm, I'm going to tape it. It's also streaming on Paramount Plus, but it airs Sunday night on CBS. Okay. I have to close my eyes when I do this so I can remember everyone who's there. There's LL Cool J, Will Smith, DJ Jazzy Jeff, Queen Latifah, MC Light, Moni Love, Yo-Yo, Big Daddy Kane, Public Enemy, T.I., Too Short, Two Chains. <laughs> it's so many. It's so many. Busta Rhymes, just everybody. You just think about this 50-year celebration of hip-hop, Black Thought, Quest Love. They're all represented and from our sister station here in Philadelphia at iHeart Power 99. There's DJ Diamond Cuts, who's one of the the DJ, so proud of her. But it's huge. And if you're a fan of hip hop, and if you're a certain age, you are. You may not understand what they sing in the day. But you remember, <laughs> during that span of 50 years, there was some song that you liked and still rock with today. So that is coming on Sunday night at 8.30 on CBS. My life is truly funny because I work on Sunday night. So I do a lot of taping because I work on Sunday night. I play all these on our or WDAS. <laughs> then there's a big football game. Y'all know I'm an Eagles fan. Eagles and the Cowboys. Sunday night football. So there's a lot. There's just I said I'm just going to be taping all day and looking at and highlights and stuff like that because got to be ready for Monday morning. So these things I know I do want to talk about, but I do appreciate you letting me know if you watched the thriller at 40, if you watched Eddie Murphy um, with his Candy Cane Lane. We did a big promotion here at the radio station. So I got to tell you about last night and what I have vowed um, to not do. I had to do an event last night. And I was supposed to be the host, but I get there and there was this woman and she was older than me. And she was kind of like looking at me, you know, like, 
I'm the host. That's when I made this declaration. Baby, do you, because I'm not arguing with people that are older than me. Now, I didn't even know how old she was. She was 86. She looked amazing. She looked amazing. Wait, she reminded me of myself because she was rocking, you know, the blonde hair and stuff. I said, oh, Lord, that's how I'm feeling. If I live to be that long, I'm going to still be. But it was just funny because she was wanted to... You know, somebody want to give you attitude, but you know how sometimes you just got to say, do you. It's all good. I don't care. You do you. So we both kind of shared it, but it was just, oh. <laughs> so I vow, I ain't arguing with nobody that's older than me. If you are a certain age, I'm just going to hit you with, do you, and be happy. Because I remember years ago, I was doing a giveaway, and it was a woman, she was older than me, and I knew she was. And here I go. How old are you? You still acting like this? Really? Really? You should know better. <laughs> well, wait. I think she reached out to my boss, and my boss said, oh, that sounds like her. Because I immediately went into, how old are you? You still doing this? You really should know better at your age. So I've just decided, you know what? No more. No more. I'm not going to ask you what you're doing. I'm not going to go into. You should. You should be doing better than this. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm just going to smile and say, "Do you? It's okay. You ain't wearing my nerves. It's okay. It's okay. You know something. I always say you learn a lesson every day. Well, that was mine last night, and I just had to share it because somebody. <laughs> Somebody can relate and you just say, do you. Have a great weekend. Check out the weekend edition. It's fancy. It's got pictures. I have a young lady, LaShawna Simon, who puts it all together. But leave a comment, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel. That way, that way, you don't miss anything. Have a great weekend. There's going to be a lot of stuff to discuss on Monday because I already know my assignment and what I have to do. Have a great one day or have a great weekend. We're going to see you on Monday. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Patty Jackson, your auntie of pop culture and auntie advice. Don't even try to argue with people who are way older than you.